Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you my new kit or digital collection of pockets for junk journals. I've got these three sheets on my Etsy now. Uh, there is, I think, six pockets. There are three these large angle cut pockets. This first, second and third. There are these two small pockets and one larger with this uh, cut for entry. There is tab, a uh, few labels. There are tags for these pockets, ephemerals for these pockets, this beautiful picture and the moth. So I decided to create something easy using these, uh, these digitals. I've got here book pages and the size of my book pages The size of my book pages is seven and three quarter by five inches. I'm gonna fussy cut out all these images and we will start to create. So I do have my bunch of ephemeras fussy cut out and I do have here my book pages so I'm gonna Take three book pages. So I've got my three book pages, scoring board, and here I folded uh, one of these angle pockets. Uh, I did print out on A4 size of uh, printer paper. I do have in those files uh, on Etsy shop also US letter size, so you can choose which size it's comfortable for you to print it out. And when you print out on A4, the size of that pocket with folded those flaps or folds, it's four inches and one eighth. So my book pages are big enough to hold those pockets. These book pages are five inches uh, wide and I'm gonna score always one side half inch, so half inch here and I will be scoring half inch here, three of these and half inch. I'm gonna fold these score lines and now I'm gonna take my book pages and I will glue those book pages into one long strip. It's kind of similar to the uh, style which I showed you with that uh, altered shopping bag when I created the journal from the shopping bags with first very long strip and then I add their pages and you know openings and in the final I glued that in the journal I will put link for that video down below if you haven't seen that yet so always I'm gonna grab the book page and I will glue the book page to that fold I do have three book pages and I made three folds or three score lines Here. I do have here a score line as well. For that I'm gonna take another book page. It's same size. I'm gonna fold it half. Glue the book page together. I'm gonna take my half book page. I'm gonna add the glue to that last fold. And place that book page right here and glue it together. So we do have kind of like mini booklet. 
I have distressed all the edges on my uh, on these book pages and I also folded all these pockets uh, I made all these folds so my pockets are prepared first what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to put a glue here and here on that half uh, half folded book page here and here on the bottom and fold it over I've got here these two small pockets and they are a little bit bigger than are my book pages if I will place them straight away on the edge this will be peeking out here so I'm gonna move them that way it will be peeking out on the opposite side but I can totally work with that I can make the pocket workable pocket so I'm gonna put a glue on these two flaps here and here the bottom flap I'm gonna leave open for now I'm gonna place the pocket the way where I can fit to this pocket on the bottom fold it over I'm gonna put a glue on the edge of my book page here and on the edge of that fold from the pocket and fold it over same I'm gonna use this another pocket okay so I do have my two pockets done I've got here these three large pockets so one will be here another one will be here I think which one I would like to have on the top maybe this one will be nice to have on the top so I'm gonna be using this on the first page from the right side and then I'm gonna be using this as a second right next to it so I'm gonna place it right here this way now when I will open it I'm gonna place one pocket right here that and go right there And I do have uh, one pocket here so a very easy way nothing complicated just simple booklet so I'm gonna place it right here the rest of these pieces uh, I can decorate so I can take that tap and place that tap on any of these small inserts and decorate with this top any of these pieces I think I'm gonna hmm. I think I'm gonna make a side side tap with this lady so I'm gonna put a glue on all my top and place it right here now I've got here a few of these labels so I'm gonna take one I'm gonna place this right here and I will use it as another mini pocket so if I will wanna add there later some mini tuck I can do so so I will place a label <laughs> glue just on three sides and place it on the picture here like this I'm gonna take this moth and maybe I'm gonna place that moth right here on the top of this tag just like decoration I 
open it. Look at this cute little picture. So that can totally go into one of these pockets. And the other pocket can hold these labels or I can use these labels on those other other images but for now I'm just gonna slide it in and this very easy way oh, I'm gonna keep it there. very easy way with <laughs> not too hard effort at all I created mini booklet I'm gonna grab my book, uh, I'm altering book about war because I don't like the war. And I think I'm gonna place it just right here. Yep. And because this is a coated book page, that glossy coat, it's there. I'm gonna be using this uh, glue, it's multi-purpose glue, it's a really good one. And I'm gonna glue it on that spot. So with this super easy folding and using printables you can create multi-opening in your journal very easy. And I still do have empty spots here so I can create some nice tags. And once this will dry on the page where I just glue it I can slide this one right there because I put the glue just on three sides I do have pocket from here as well so this can then be peeking out from my book like this so this is my very very short sharing with you it's very simple booklet for for junk journals using this uh, simple easy pockets for junk journals I know it's not rocket science, but I hope you did enjoy it. Sometimes it's good to bring some very easy project, not too complicated. Uh, I do have this digital collection on my Etsy, link will be down below. And also I do have there a few uh, paper pads. I do have a new paper pad. Uh, it's again office papers and there is 52 pages. Uh, every single page is different. It's one-sided print because I was thinking uh, if you would like to use it as a tag, as a writing spot on the back side and maybe some decoration from this side. There is good uh, if you will like to tea dye it, coffee dye it or use your inks to have that back side empty. Or if you just want to fold it half and use it in the journals, it's good to have their writing spot. These papers are 170 GSM. They are perfect for making tags, making envelopes, uh, pockets. They are perfect in journals to hold your pockets because they are not too heavy, but they are strong enough to hold uh, openings, flips, flaps, and any kind of pockets. And I try to use... Uh, I try to choose from my digitals uh, those which we like to use in our journals. Not every single page has only one image as you can see here. On some pages there is more than one image so it's not just 52 uh, images in this paper but there is much more. Sometimes are there two, three, four images on one sheet. All of them are vintage related and all of them are office related but it's a mix, mix of times uh, it's uh, like this is retro style there is uh, like very uh, very grungy style uh, shabby style shabby chic style so there is so many different styles of office papers and office documents i do have a few paper pads left but if there will be uh, many people who will like to buy it, please just um, uh, click that like button and I will know how many how many people ish will like to have this paper pad because I don't have too many left. Uh, they, they were mostly for my Patreons that first batch I wanted to try. <laughs> so I don't have too many left. Uh, I do have really just few. Go to have a look on my Etsy, it's there. 
and as you can see every single paper it's different these are really gorgeous these are papers which my sister has uh, Germany uh, ledger books and she doesn't want to give me those ledger books she just scanned a few pages for me she said that you will rip it off <laughs> which I will never do so with those books so there are Germany and all kind of ledger papers forms and stuff which can be used in our junk journals so if you would like to get uh, this paper pack Go to have a look on my Etsy and if they will be not there just uh, click that like button here and I will see if if the second batch that I will ask the printer company to make a few more uh, will make sense. <laughs> I hope it makes sense what I'm saying. So we are nearly on the end. Here and here another multi ephemera sheet with bank checks with all kind of ephemeras and for junk journals uh, for those who like quotes I do have all, also two pages in the end with quoted labels or quotable labels probably quoted labels so that's all what is in this paper pad thank you so so much for watching uh, this video today thank you so much for joining me and spending your time with me i know this was very easy to do it wasn't nothing complicated but i really like to create these uh, multi openings they are so fun and they are always interesting and with the gluing on the right parts you can create even more pockets and i do love to create pockets for my journals so this digital kit will be on my Etsy link is down below the paper pad is still on my Petsy uh, Petsy Etsy <laughs> sorry it's still on my Etsy uh, if it will be not there just click the like button on this video and I will know how much I should I should order thank you so much have a beautiful day take care about yourself and I will see you soon bye